Richard Buckminster Fuller was one of the most famous designers and inventors in the 20th century, who had a particular interest towards improving society with his many inventions and ideas. Spanning more than five decades, he developed solutions to human problems in designing technologies that do more with less. During his many years working with machinery, Fuller used his comprehensive problem-solving approach to constructing a modular home that was relatively inexpensive and easy to mass-produce on a large scale for the general population. This was called the Dymaxion House. Fuller was ahead of the curve in understanding during his time that efficiencies must be created in how we develop new technologies in order to prevent a scarcity of resources and limiting negative impacts on the environment. This sustainable way of thinking that Fuller adopted in all of his design work went on to being applied to many other technologies, such as the Dymaxion car, which was a streamlined, three-wheeled vehicle that could make extraordinarily sharp turns, a compact, prefabricated, easily installed Dymaxion bathroom, and Dymaxion deployment units, which were mass-produced houses based on circular grain bins. While Dymaxion deployment units never became popular for civilian housing, they were used during World War II to shelter radar crews in remote locations with severe climates. In the middle of Fuller's life work, Fuller designed and developed one of the most significant constructions he is most well known for, the geodesic dome. This was a lightweight, cost-effective and easy-to-assemble dome structure, which enclosed more space without intrusive supporting columns that other structures bear. The geodesic dome efficiently distributed stress within the structure, thereby becoming a very strong design with the ability to withstand harsh environments. From this point onwards, Fuller gained a lot of understandings from nature by looking at how nature's geometrical patterns can be applied to the design of structures within human society, and by doing so could create huge advantages and possibilities. Today there are more than 300,000 geodesic domes around the world, ranging from shelters in California and Africa to radar stations in remote locations, as well as geodesic structures on countless children's playgrounds. In the early 1950s, Fuller concentrated lecturing on the benefits of his systems approach to problem solving. He coined the now familiar phrase, Spaceship Earth, to describe the integral nature of Earth's living system. Beginning in the late 1960s, Fuller was especially involved in creating World Game, a large-scale simulation and series of workshops he designed that used a large-scale Dymaxion map to help humanity better understand, benefit from, and more efficiently utilise the world's resources. Fuller's philosophy could be best summarised as being a social thinker, believing that humanity's survival is contingent upon how it manages Spaceship Earth and the resources it contains and that creating abundance whilst doing little to no harm to the environment would help to alleviate a lot of the problems seen in the world today. His emphasis on a systems thinking approach shaped a way of thinking that adopted the idea that the world is an interconnected system with interconnected problems, and that a way to solve these problems would be to call upon collective action.